Well, for more on the role of women in Saudi Arabia's economy, I'm joined by Reen Daffa, Vice President and Executive Director at the Saudi American Public Relation Affairs Committee, or SAFPRAC. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So let's start with some background here. Why are we seeing the Prince's interest in female entrepreneurship and empowerment increasing? Well, yes, of course. It's tapping into the second half of the Saudi uh, consensus, the Saudi population. Uh, that's an untapped potential. They're uh, discovering that the woman has a lot to do with uh, success in other sectors. Um, so that's where that's coming from. Now let's look at some of these sectors. We know that these um, social restrictions are still in place, but what are the sectors that lend themselves more easily to really embracing more women in the workforce? To be honest, most of the sectors are opening up bit by bit, specifically business. Um, right now, we, you just mentioned guardianship. Uh, now, you don't need guardianship as a woman to open a business by yourself. Uh, before that, you used to need a sign-off from your guardian or uh, the male of the household to sign off that they agree uh, for a business that no longer uh, is in fact. And you can open a business, a small business, a big business. Uh, you can own your own franchise as a woman. And what does this mean for Saudi women to have this economic empowerment starting to grow? That's exactly what it means. Empowerment. It means independence. It means contributing. And it means having ownership of your, your future. And obviously very important. And another thing that's important is support. So what is the government doing to facilitate and really encourage more women in this arena? They're coming up with new authorities. For instance, um, they are promoting more awareness, more educational awareness, more programs to educate women uh, about their rights, about their uh, rights in business, about even guardianship, even rules that they may not know that may actually help them uh, harness uh, more businesses and harness uh, uh, their, their own education. And how does having more women in the workforce, how does that benefit the kingdom's overall growth plan for the region? Can you repeat the question? Sure. By including more women in the workforce, giving them more economic empowerment, when you look at the overall economy for Saudi Arabia, how does that play into that plan when it comes to Vision 2030? It plays a huge role. Uh, it increases uh, job opportunities for women. It increases um, uh, the participa uh, particip participation of youth in the economy and the participation of uh, the woman as, as the leader of the household. You have to know that the biggest decision maker when it comes to consumerism and when it comes to buying and uh, uh, either houses, real estate, even cars, usually it's the woman of the, of the household in Saudi Arabia. And speaking of consumerism, let's also look at this fashion week that we saw in Riyadh. Tell us about the role of Saudi women, not just when it comes to the commerce side, but also as consumers. How do they play into everything? Well, to be honest, this is a huge move it, movement from an informal economy to a formal economy. Saudi women used to um, promote uh, fashion from uh, their Instagram accounts, from their Snapchats, from their own houses. They used to have their own private ateliers. Um, from the movement of economy, now they have the right to have their own brands, the right to um, sell their own local brands and have even like small and, and medium chains. And we're also seeing other social freedoms like Saudi women being allowed to drive. So which other sectors should we be keeping an eye on for Saudi women on the horizon? For Saudi women, it's technology and sports. A lot of technology, a lot of designing, software desi uh, designing. You have to know that from moving that, having that huge effect on change behavior, uh, you're gonna have, you're gonna see a uh, huge change in technology and software uh, within the region and the Middle East. Now, it's interesting you mentioned sports. Just quickly, tell us about some of the developments there for women. Well, for instance, just yesterday, uh, we had a huge movement and an event for women cycling around uh, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and around the kingdom. That's a first for Saudi Arabia. We have a woman boxer who, are te who is teaching Saudi women how to box and how to defend themselves. That's also a first.